Hi everyone, my name is JC. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first video. So for my first video, I thought it would be a good idea to do a little get to know me at the beginning just so you guys know who who I am. And then I'm going to jump into my favorite convenience store products that I have used to create this awesome natural-ish makeup look today. So just starting out, my name is JC. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Utah. Um, I have a passion for makeup, but when I'm not creating fun makeup looks, I am obsessed with playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Not joking, my island is so cute. I've spent too many hours on that game. <laughs> um, I also love art journaling. I'll show you guys some pictures because I feel like a lot of people don't know what that is when I say I like to do it. So looking at those, maybe you can tell that I love K-pop. I actually have my k-pop album set up right behind me so if you guys are interested in seeing that just let me know i definitely will show you and i also love anime so that's what i love creating my art journals on it's just like some cute anime characters and some cute k-pop song inspiration ish right i also have a art journal based on travel so all the places i've been which i also really enjoy Anyways, that's just one of my good hobbies that I have, but besides that, I just love spending time with my friends and family. Anyways, enough about me, and let's talk about the amazing products I used for this look today. I want to start off by saying I've been wearing this full face of makeup for five hours, and it still looks this good with all these convenience store makeup brands. This video is just for my fellow MUAs out there who can't afford all the expensive makeup brands and can create another beautiful look for cheap. Crazy. So let's get into it. First things first, I have this primer that I use today, this Master Prime from Maybelline. I love how it makes my face feel like it's ready for that foundation to be applied. I feel like it's protecting my skin just a little bit better. I also love that it's blur and pore minimizing. Because your girl has big pores. So, this is a pretty good primer if you're looking for something pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure I got this out of Walgreens, so. <laughs> Next, jumping right into my foundation that I've used today. Today I used Fit Me Maybelline. Dewy, uh, the dewy and smooth finish. I usually prefer a dewy smooth finish over a matte. This is shade 105 Fair Ivory. Um, yeah, I love how this makes my skin look. I think it applies pretty good. Um, I think it gives me pretty full coverage. I used a little less today because I didn't want as much of a full coverage look. But yeah, I love this one. I love the dewy smooth finish. This is a good one. I got this one at Target. All right, next for my concealer today, I used the Fit Me Maybelline concealer stick. I love this concealer. Even over some concealers that you can buy not at convenience stores. Like I love this more than some expensive ones. And that's because when I'm doing a cut crease look, I can cut my crease with this concealer. And how some concealers are when you apply pigment to them, they are all splotchy and don't apply nice and even and they don't blend very well. Not with this concealer. This concealer, you can apply any pigment to it and it will still blend perfectly and not be splotchy at all. I love this. I think it has good coverage and I definitely recommend. I also got this at Target. Next for my bronzer today, I used this butter bronzer it's so smashed and that's because i think i've just used this <laughs> i think i've just used this too much it's done it's finished i just need to buy a new one at this point but yeah this bronzer blends into my skin really beautifully uh and it smells like coconut and who doesn't love good smelling makeup like i am definitely a big fan of that now on some days that i won't wear bronzer and i will wear concealer i like this nyx wonder stick the cool thing about this is it has concealer on one side and a highlighter stick on the other side. I don't use the highlighter stick too often because I prefer a powder highlighter, but the contour stick, beautiful. And it's not as expensive as 
some contour sticks that you can find somewhere else but it does get the job done and it blends really good as well but I'm not wearing this today I'm just wearing my butter bronzer next for blush I have picked out the fit me Maybelline blush um I don't wear this one very often at all I have this one on today but I have another blush on top of it which I will get into just one second but it is a really pretty rosy kind of corally color and it's sparkly as well I love sparkly blushes but also a pretty good option but I'm gonna talk about the other one I'm wearing today because it is literally my favorite blush ever and that is the ColourPop Flower Tender blush. When I told you I was obsessed with Animal Crossing, I wasn't joking. When ColourPop announced that they were doing a collab with Animal Crossing, I lost my mind. Not even kidding. This one is a really pretty corally shade. I love it so much. I wear this one the most. I also bought the Flower Power one, which is more pinky instead of peachy. I also love this one so much, but I really do prefer peachy blushes over pink. Just depends on the look I'm going for, but I thought I would let you know about these ones just because they're also my favorite, even though they're not convenience store. Okay, next for my highlighter today, the fact that it still looks this good after five hours of wear, crazy, astonishing really. And this one is probably one of my favorite highlighters I own, and yes, it is a convenience store highlighter that I literally got from Target. And that is the Revolution Highlighter. This is just such a pretty color. I love it so much, so sparkly. It's literally one of my favorite highlighters I own. I can't tell you how obsessed I am with this. So... If you're looking for a great new highlighter that has that really pretty shimmery gold kind of finish, which I love so much, Revolution. I love it. Okay, next for my eyebrows today. These eyebrows aren't my usual because, again, we are going for convenience store. But for my eyebrows today, I used the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Um... Again, I love that they have the little comb. I love these so much. But I usually use Anastasia eyebrow pencil, but today we did use the e.l.f. And hey, it gets the job done. I still think it looks pretty great. So I lined my eyebrows with the eyebrow pencil. And then to fill it in, I used the e.l.f. eyebrow pomade. Um, again, I usually use Anastasia. But honestly, e.l.f. gets the job done, guys. Like, And it lasts pretty long. No complaints, really. Okay, next for my eyeshadow, this was really difficult because looking through my palettes, I realized I had no convenience store bought makeup palettes. So I had to use something that wasn't convenience store bought. So for my eyeshadow today, I used the 35S Morphe Sweet Oasis palette. I used this really pretty nude color, Rooftop View on my crease and then for my lid I used this really pretty shimmer sun deck chillin to create this really pretty natural kind of glam look today again sorry I didn't have any convenience store makeup palettes if anyone else has some really good convenience store makeup palettes drop it in the comments and I will definitely check it out and now for eyeliner I usually use Kat Von D liquid eyeliner but for today I used again e.l.f. gets the job done. I use the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen and this is waterproof. I can certify that this is pretty waterproof. I wore it one day and I cried and guess what? My makeup still looked bomb. Also, may I mention that this is like the smallest wing eyeliner I've had for a long time because I was trying to keep my look kind of natural. But yeah, I really do enjoy this eyeliner pencil. This is a good one if you like liquid eyeliner. Next, for my waterline right here, if you can see that white, I used the NYX Jumbo White Pencil. As you can see, it's running out. I'm gonna need a new one soon. But I love this, because it kind of just brightens up my eyes and make them a little bigger and kind of pop more. 
uh, yeah, I really like this. So if you're looking for something a little fun to give your eyes that bigger pop, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil is the way to go. Also, I forgot to mention for my eyeshadow primer before I put on my eyeshadow, today I used the NYX Eyelid Primer and this actually works pretty well. This eyeshadow base, honestly, I didn't have any problems with it. My eyeshadow applied really well and it stayed on all day without a budge. So, the NYX eyeshadow base is a pretty good one, I have to say. And next, my mascara. I also have no convenience store bought mascara on me right now. I know that sounds insane, but it's because I love this mascara so much, I have never used another one since. And that is the Thrive Liquid Eyelash Extension Mascara. I think this just gives my eyelashes a really pretty lift. And I like the way the wand applies. Not me putting it on because I love it so much. But yeah, I was actually shocked when I realized I literally have no other mascara because this is all I use. So I did use this on my top and bottom lashes for today. And the last product that I use to finish up this convenient store makeup bought look. It is this NYX Lasting Fix Setting Spray. And... I think it's doing a real good job because today I've had this on for five hours, maybe six hours already. And my makeup still looks bomb, everyone. So this is a pretty good setting spray. I do prefer Morphe setting spray, but no complaints here. And I'm going to leave that video here for today. If you want to hear more of my favorite makeup brands, not store-bought and just in general, Leave a comment down below and I can make a video about that as well. Again, makeup is for everyone. Even if you can't afford expensive makeup, there are cheap makeups you can buy to still look so good and work so well, I promise you. Make sure you go check out my Instagram and my TikTok. Both will be linked down below, especially my TikTok if you want to see exclusive videos. Both of those are at makeup period by period JC. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and make sure to comment down below your favorite makeup products that you enjoy and I will make sure to check them out. Also comment down below what you guys want to see next. I will see you guys all in the next video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye! Thank you.